told you, hey, I, I watch WCW because it came on on Saturday, so I should be in the house watching all like the um, not even the mid carders, like the ones who were trying to make it to the big show, mm-hmm. re- wrestle. You know, like, I didn't like the name okay. names that I can't even tell you to this day, but it was wrestling and it was like Saturday super some shit. Yeah. So did you watch it because of um the actual wrestling, or did you watch it because of? The promos because okay, I think so WCW had the best, like the best promos up until the DX. You crazy. So what? You crazy? WCW you they, crazy. they had they did they did try to keep a story going for a minute, but then y'all crazy. They okay so in WCW they didn't have a story. Well, okay, so when, even when, NWO era they didn't have a story. What? Well, they did because remember NWO wanted to take over WCW. That's that was a, was, that was the, the story. Outsiders. What else was it? It was them coming. It, it was and then, NWO. okay so. So what it was was when you had WCW NWO. Remember all the pay per views with WCW NWO, right? Uh-huh. And it was we need to get the belt back in WCW. Hulk Hogan had the belt, and everybody was trying to get that belt off of Hulk Hogan. So I think uh, it was Goldberg, DD, um, DDP, um, Booker. Uh, One time, no, Booker came late. Yeah. So it was like like Ric Flair, Sting, all the motherfuckers the going to, like going against the NWO because the the NWO was the powerhouse. Mm-hmm. You couldn't fuck with them, mm-hmm. and that was the storyline. We gotta get that belt. We gotta get that belt because nobody cared about the cruiserweight on the TV. It was all about the world championship. Mm-hmm. That was it. They had a I think Goldberg was the U.S. champion. Nobody get a fuck about that shit. I never saw one time the NWO spray paint was on the U.S. title. Mm-hmm. It was only on the world title. You and, know, and what did you, and what did you just say? They had. A storyline of the whole company trying to get one belt. Nah, but but but, but, but that, that, know, that the world the world belt that's the only belt that really yeah, matters. But, but no, no, that's true. But what you said is the whole company in one storyline try to get a try to get one belt. I think it was but WWE think, back then or WWF back then. They had uh, the Shawn Michaels Bret Hart storyline. They had the Undertaker Kane storyline going at the same time. See, they I, had the Val Venus and D'Lo Brown shit with the European Championship going on. They had the gold dust shit going on with Brian. B- they had different storylines. No, going they on. did, but what was the one that people remember though? They remember all Stone of them Cold Vince McMahon. Exactly. They they remember uh, Mark Henry made young hand. Shawn Michaels, but uh, Shawn Michaels, but I'm saying at the same DX. We talk about the same. Okay, we, the we, same time. we talk about we talk about the same time. We talk, they're talking about the four horsemen against the NWO. We talk about Sting against the NWO. We also talking about um because you 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 fail to realize that Hulk Hogan before the NWO came, Hulk Hogan had Hulk Hogan and Macho Man came back and became the Mega Powers again. You don't remember the three cages that they had stacked on top of each other? When Debo was in one of them, motherfuckers, Debo from Friday. Yeah. That that whole storyline, uh, the Miss Elizabeth storyline. Miss Elizabeth was running like a hoe. Queen Elizabeth, Macho Man wife. Uh-huh. We forgot about that. Um, but the, you you are right as far as the divisions. You had cruiserweight, lightweight, heavyweight, all that shit. But WCW had the stories. They had more personalized they had more, stories. They had more realistic they had, stories. They, they, they had, they okay. had doink. Boy, the fuck is you talking about? What okay. the fuck are y'all, y'all talking about? One storyline with look. We this, talking about real. No, okay, okay, so we, we, we no, 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 no. This ah, this is what it is. Y'all, y'all WCW they y'all had storylines that shit. WWE they they saw that was working and they brought that into the world. No, of they, WWE. Had, they, were, they didn't have storylines that they seen that was working. If they it had, wasn't for the NWO, factions. it they would have, not be a deep they had attitude. Factions era. that they seen that was working. The realism, like the the shit they was doing, not storylines. Only thing NWO did was come out there, open the show, up. talk my beat niggas up, and that's it. That's all they did. It wasn't a storyline. The storyline they took over WCW. The story okay, well, did it have to say they repeated the storyline every week then? It was just different members doing doing the, the same storyline. And it story was line. people coming and take a try to try to go against WCW. I mean, Bro, that's just, the same storyline. Y'all not saying a different well, storyline. I think I, I think y'all, I, I gave think y'all okay, five different storylines. Okay, so maybe the storylines wasn't, <laughs> wasn't as strong, right? But <laughs> What brought the people action. the movement? Was the there. action is what the wrestling is what because it was real wrestling. It wasn't the wrestling that brought him. I'm gonna yeah, tell you what brought the wrestling. Him. I'm gonna tell you what brought him. The Nitro Girls. What? No, <laughs> <laughs> that's what, one. <laughs> what brought him was the realism. The at, realistic. Real, the, the, the NWO. The gangster shit. The gangster shit. Niggas walking out, beating niggas up. For baseball bat. Nash Every match out. disqualified. <laughs> Nash walking out like he Tupac with the bandana yeah. on the. The Master P, yeah, the bringing everybody nah, in, the, like P, the pop culture, 
Exactly. Yeah. That's what, like, that's the NWO shit. Like, everybody that, has Because that what WWF took from WCW, the pop culture. Yeah. When they brought in, like, the Mike Tyson and shit like that, the Sables and shit, uh-huh. that was them introducing pop culture to wrestling. To, to like you said, to bring up the own ratings and shit. But they, but they was killing their own, they just killed their own company. They killed it. They killed it fast. You but do, 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 I got a breaking news announcement. Who was the realest female ever in, in wrestling history? Bianca Belair. Medusa. Uh, Sunny. Free Sunny. She's in jail right now. I want to free Sunny. <laughs> That bitch. <laughs> She's Don't free that, that, <laughs> that fucking drunk ass bitch. <laughs> that bitch ran into somebody back in somebody's car. I didn't hear that one. Oh, you hear that one? Mm-mm. Why are you saying? Nice. Uh, he hey, you jail. a rapper and a nigga. You said niggas just say free anybody. Don't know, free the, everybody. don't know the details. <laughs> no, 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 I ain't hear she. I ain't hear she mess with no kids or uh, <laughs> rape the nigga. So the she, bitch was drunk. Well, I know. I know she, she was drunk. But nah, but you said the, she uh, hit. She hits. She hits. She hits somebody while they was in the car. The nigga died. Oh first fuck of all. her! Leave her in that <laughs> motherfucker. Nah, first see, of all, Medusa was the, like the. The the, uh, the the crazy I female. Even, I wasn't even going to like. Yeah. The, I was yeah. talking about because because I seen some because shit. I seen up. her in a jumpsuit and she looked fat. Oh yeah, she fat. This is her fifth time going. But to everybody jail. loved Sunny like at one year. point. No, at one point when she was skinny and fine. And I fucked with Sunny back then until Sable came. Yeah, Sable changed the game. I didn't like Sable. I did. I, I, you that crazy. You the only nigga that didn't like Sable. I didn't. That nigga like what's what's over there? Trish Stratus. Last time. Trish Stratus. Laughing at jazz. No, he like, <laughs> <laughs> like jazz. Jazz and Ultimate Warrior cousins. <laughs> that nigga like jazz. Um, <laughs> oh, so, so taking it back to to, to uh, WrestleMania, um, it's kind of crazy because we talked about this off air, but uh, but fuck it, we back on. Back at WrestleMania, um, uh, Kevin Owens, yes, Stone Cold. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now we was expecting something. Uh-huh. Was, was you already expecting a match? Not, not like that. Nah, I wasn't. I thought it would be like a stunner and walk out. What about you? I was expecting a match. I wasn't expecting them weak ass kicks. Stone Cold did. <laughs> <laughs> Other than them weak ass kicks, I mean, also, he, hey, yo, he got yeah. bad knees, man. That was the best he can do, man. That's what everybody said. Shout <laughs> out to my homegirl Liz. She said, <laughs> "I said, what them trash ass kicks." She was like, he got bad knees. He got knee braces on both yeah. legs. What like. the fuck that got to do with his shit raising? That ain't <laughs> nigga, this nigga he had no torque because his knees. Nigga, he can't. Uh, he can't. Nothing he can't he can't show him. Yo, yo, he needed some DDP yoga. That's what he needed. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's talk about that weak ass. Hey, what the fuck was Vince thinking? Oh. I think Vince was just trying to show uh, Tony. What's Tony? What's that bitch ass nigga name? Tony Khan. Like, nigga, I still got it. Yeah, like, yeah. Hey. <laughs> That nigga took that stunner like, what the fuck? That nigga kicked that nigga. That nigga bounced all back and shit like, nigga, what the fuck is you doing, man? Hey, you got to remember, nigga ain't got no quads. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, one, hey, one thing, I was listening to Pat McAfee's show after that, right? The next day. Pat McAfee was like, he didn't even know Vince was about to, that was about to happen. He said he seen everything in a gorilla, mm. but he said he didn't know that Vince actually was going to be a match. It was going to be a match. Oh, he said that was all improv. So he said when the boss got in the ring, I took all the motherfucking hits. <laughs> I, I took all them clotheslines. Hey, those clothes look like they were devastating. He though. surprised hey. his ass. That nigga, so that nigga, that nigga, Pat McAfee. This, this the motherfucker. He's the greatest announcer. Nah, never mind, never mind, Jerry. Jerry, oh my god, Jr. <laughs> um, but Pat, man, he was like he didn't know that was coming, and then nobody expected no new Stone Cold. They seen Stone Cold in the back, but they never seen Stone Cold coming out again. Mm. But it was funny. It was, it was cool. funny it was, as fuck. It was it was good. So all, overall, how do y'all feel about the Kevin Owens? I, I think I think Stone Cold gave a lot to the Kevin Owens fight. He gave a lot, and yeah, he took yeah. some bumps too. He took yeah. a lot of bumps. He took, he took some fucking kinda, bumps. I was he took some worried. bumps um, on the concrete. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Ass, yeah. What? <laughs> I was kind of worried. Yeah, I was too. I was kind of worried because I, if I if I'm about to give me some broken skull lager. Um, oh, what's it? I think it's called Broken Skull Lager. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's right there in El Segundo at the El Segundo Brewery. I'm about to go get some shout out to them. They right around the corner from my job. Had <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that shit next time for the podcast. I'm gonna have it. I'm gonna have it next time for sure. Um, shout out to the nigga um, 
John, Johnny Knoxville. That match was actually funny. Oh, that hell yeah. That was a fucking good match. Yeah, that was a funny-ass match. Nigga. That was like a Looney Tune match. Yeah. <laughs> nigga, when I seen that big-ass hand, that shit had me dying. When that big-ass hand smacked the shit out that nigga, that shit, nigga, I start crying. Yeah. Now, you see some defects, the shit didn't work. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the, like the big rat trap and shit? Yeah. yeah. That shit didn't work. Yeah, that shit didn't make sense. Oh, yeah, the, the boot. boot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But that nigga kicked the shot at him, though. Nigga, yeah. he yeah. still kicked the shit out like, of him. Fuck it, let me just kick the shot at you. But that, that I, I think, I think. That nigga Michael Cole was dying on fucking, he was, he, that nigga Michael Cole had me laughing. <laughs> yeah. It's like he ain't never seen a reality TV show before. <laughs> nah, no, no, no. It was, that shit was just he funny. was, he was too much into it to the point where like, I think he forgot the script. He, yeah. was, he was just laughing and just enjoying the match. I don't think he match. knew all that shit was going to nah, happen. Nah, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like that, that it didn't. It seemed like it was in, in improv. It was just improv, and, and it worked. But that means they should get rid of all these goddamn scripts that they got these uh, uh, wrestlers doing. Well, initially, yeah, because the scripted um shit like that really like it watered down the actual like realness of it. So I don't think it should be all scripted. It should be a concept, and then go out there and improv the shit. Because when you script it, like it's like. You don't want to go out there and you know the outcome. You want to yeah. go out there and kind of like play into it, you know. But I, I'm saying all the scripts need to go because when you look at these scripts, and you see how they talking. Like we but, just we we watched. The, uh, that's the only reason why they got scripts because these motherfuckers can't do promos. Uh, no, the scripts ain't helping because I don't think Triple H, Stone Cold, and them had scripts. I think they had concepts. Go out there and talk your shit and get the match going. Yeah, I think so too. But it comes down to like the Roman Reigns. That motherfucker, he need a script. <laughs> that nigga need a no script. More. He good now. That nigga, I, I, he, I, that nigga I, need stage direction. He need everything. Nah, because you know, thing is, if Roman Reigns take a pause, take a break. It's okay because the crowd gonna carry him. Yeah, he he's too big. Roman like he's too big that he don't need the title anymore. He don't need it. I'm tired of niggas keep saying I'm gonna smash you. That's like, damn, nigga, say pause after that. All his promo. <laughs> that nigga be like, Can't say pause because they gonna go to dig. That's <laughs> some weird shit. They gonna they gonna be on I some think, other shit. I think oh, that, how y'all niggas feel about uh, that nigga MVP? That nigga be traded Bobby Lashley for Omos. That nigga traded in the. Uh, that I hate it has to be a black. Nigga. I hate it has to be a black man. Yeah, I but it. I mean, like you give us all these black women, but you can't give us a black nigga stick together. God <laughs> damn, Vince. Yeah. That, that would have been a crazy enough. ass uh, 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 hurry business, dog. Damn. Old Moss and Bobby Lashley and shit. For real. That shit would have been crazy. But look, think about this shit. Bobby Lashley fucked up Shelton and uh, 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 Alexander, right? And then they came back together for that short memory, right? Uh, so you never know. Maybe Bobby might come and align with Old Moss down the line. Probably. Because they hurt each other. That's their love language. That's their love language. <laughs> <laughs> the Rock has come back to King. Of the ring. Oh, you the rock now, huh? It doesn't matter, Booker. <laughs> Hold on. And the reason I play that, I got that. But we got black on black crime going on right now. <laughs> Are we accepting the rock as a black man today? Yeah. No. What the fuck is that? He black? No. The soul man is the soul man. Okay. How you, how but, you not accept the rock as being black? That's sick. Crazy. Because the rock don't call himself black. Yes, His do. daddy is when, the soul when, man. when have you seen him say, me as an African-American? Nigga, I ain't an African-American. I'm a hip-hop American. No, but what I'm saying, <laughs> no. Hip-hop American. The Rock, the Rock, the Rock is the Rock. He don't even, like. You don't have a nationality? Nah. He, 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 he just the Rock. Everybody can claim him. But, so, say that to go back to. You had Bobby Lashley and Omos, the MVP. Yeah. Right? They could have been the new. Um, Hurt Business. Oh, fuck her business. We're taking it back. They could have been the new Nation uh, of Domination. Nation of Domination. They could have been. I would love to bring that storyline back right now, especially with all black all black girls holding the title. And I'm going to get off of this right now because we got white listeners. Um, <laughs> I'm about to grab that stool right there. This motherfucker. Uh, it's too high? Yeah. Too all, right. all right. So we got that. And then we got The Rock coming back to fight his cousin that we we think, we predicted. That make it even worse because now you got family fighting family and shit. You want that shit? I will, I will think The Rock storyline will be getting the family in order. In order of what? Like They got all the bells. They're taking over WWE. Shit, they in order. They winning. 
They what the fuck the Rock gonna do? What if, the, what if the Rock come back and turn heel and join the family? Oh my God! Do you think Can they were really? They that? couldn't be heel. That's not gonna happen. The but Rock couldn't. The Rock, the rock is rock over. The Rock be. is so over. He he could go heel. <laughs> it wouldn't even matter. But it's just because you heal don't mean you can't be healing over. No, what I'm saying is like. Him being healed and him talking shit to the crowd and everything, people still gonna laugh and, and like, nigga, we know what this shit is. The Rock was healed before when he used to do the guitar yeah, shit. Yeah, when, when, he, when he was Hollywood Rock, and he that hey, was we, they, they naming it WrestleMania Hollywood. Yeah, he, you know, hey, <laughs> hey, but that won't happen. Everybody hey. love the Rock too much. I'm just but saying, but I think I think there. that would take away from like Roman Reigns being an actual heel. He would have Man, to kind of change Roman his character. Reigns, a hoe. I don't like this this. This nigga nah, Roman I'm, Reigns. Not, I'm not gonna lie to you. I seen Roman Reigns slap the slap the young kid head and do some shit off script, and I was like, "Oh, he in his element. He really in his bag, though." That's it. That nigga see he in God mode. Y'all see that nigga? Um, this one weird ass nigga burning a Cody Rhodes t shirt. A AEW fan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like the niggas did it in, uh, in, in Cleveland for LeBron. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Hey, you niggas know, is he, hot. He, you know one thing about Cody? Fuck AEW. God damn. <laughs> nigga got AEW Tourette's. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> you, know, you know the blessing about AEW? What? Besides Jay. Besides Jay and uh, Red Velvet. What? Don't say CM Punk. Nope. It's making WWE step their fucking game up. WWE been stepped in. No, the fuck? Look, it was a period of time where you didn't even like the shit. You 